Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install a micro OS desktop on your Raspberry Pi. So first, so for this, we are going to need a Raspberry Pi. So you can use a Raspberry Pi 4 or a Raspberry Pi 400. I'm going to use a Raspberry Pi 400 for this. And you need a micro SD card and some way to plug it into your PC. So first we need to get the correct image. And for that, you go to get.opensuse.org. You scroll down to micro OS. You go to the download tab. And now uh, you could do it via the ISO, but what I found more convenient and easier to use is you go to the alternative downloads. You scroll down to hardware. And now you grab yourself the Raspberry Pi image. And that's this one. So you just go to download and it will start downloading it. And now we just have to wait a bit. Okay, so the image got downloaded, so, which is great. So we are first step done. So now we have to find out what is actually the device name of our SD card. And for that, you can do uh, UDISC CTL status. And now you'll see, okay, so it will print all connected devices. So here you can see this is my, uh, this is my system drive. This is my, um, this is my hard drive. And this one is the SD card. So the name will probably, the names will be different. There's also other tools. So you can use LS, BL, LS, uh, BLK, which will also, will also give you all your devices, or you can use also F disk minus L, which will print all your partitions on these uh, on these drives. But anyway, we know now that the device we're actually looking for, so let's go for UDISC CTL status, that's MMCBLK0. So uh, my image is now in my download folder. So let's just go to, let's just take a look. And there it is. Terrific. So now we get it onto the SD card via XCAT. Then the path, the full file name, and then we do the DD off. There we enter the device name. In this case, this is this MMC BLK. Choose the correct device name because otherwise you might um, you might erase your uh, you might erase your hard drive okay and now i'm just going to paste a few more commands that you can find on the uh, on the installation wiki page or you can just in theory you can also you should include the bs equals 4m and uh, the rest now we just press enter and we wait Perfect. And now that the image got written into the SD card, we can just unplug the SD card and put it into our Pi. So if you want to unplug it, just I'd recommend to type in sync first so that all changes are, are in there and check out that the SD card is not mounted anywhere. So you can do the following, just grab for the device name. So this was um, if we just go to the previous command, it was mmcblk0. Uh, so we just grab for mmcblk in Etsy M tab. That's where the mount points are. It's not there. So we can just safely unplug it and put it into the Pi. Okay, welcome back. So we now have the rasp we now have the SD card plugged into the Raspberry Pi. You can see. This is the this is a recording from a capture card. So currently the Pi is powered off. Now I'm going to power it on and it should come up very soon. Okay. 
And there we are. So this took a bit, but just wait for a second. Now we'll get presented with GOS first boot. So just press enter to start. So you need a keyboard. Here you can select the keyboard input. So I'm going to go to the find the German keyboard because that's what my Pi has, but just choose whatever your your keyboard has. Now the obligatory license agreement. So And now you select the time zone. I'm, I'm just going to go with Europe. And now pick the root password. Okay, since I don't have any wired connection included, just uh, I'm just gonna continue. But the easiest would be now to plug in a Ethernet cable. And there we are. So unfortunately, this is not yet micro OS desktop. We have to do a few tricks. So first, let's log in. And as I said, we don't have, I don't have an Ethernet cable, and in case uh, neither have you, so you can just connect to Wi Fi, and this is rather simple. So you can use an MCLI for this. This will by default show you just all your network connections. And if you want to connect you to Wi Fi, you just do an MCLI device Wi Fi. And it will show you all your all current Wi-Fi um, Wi-Fi networks available. So I'm going to and then if you want to connect, you just type in connect, then the name of the network, then you type password, and here you would type now the Wi-Fi password. Okay, we got that covered, so I'm now connected. And the first thing that you really want to do is now update your system. Well, updating is really simple. All you have to do is use the transactional update command and you do that as follows. Just type it in and let it run. And as you can see, there is nothing to be applied. So just to be safe, I'm going to uh, I'm going to reboot because that's what you have to do. Um, given that this is a transactional system, you have to reboot after every installation of a of a package and also every update. So let's do that and wait until the Pi comes back up. And we're back. So let's just log in again. And now we have to do uh, a very similar, a few very simple commands. So essentially install the micro OS desktop patterns. And we do that as follows. So we use the transactional update pkg install. And now we inst uh, insert the patterns. So the first one is patterns micro OS desktop common and patterns micro as desktop gnome. Now, as you can see, this will download a whole ton of stuff. So let's confirm this and let it run.
there we are. So the update is now finished. And now there's uh, just one thing to do. And that is we have to, uh, so before we reboot, we just have to tell the system to uh, boot by default into the, uh, into the graphics environment. And we do that simply via systemctl set default graphical target. And now we just have to reboot. Okay, there we are again. And as you see, unfortunately, the display manager didn't come up. Unfortunately, the fix for this is rather simple. So let's log in first. And the problem that occurred here is that there's a wrong, there are some wrong directory permissions on a certain directory. So this fix might not work for you if you're watching this at some point later in time. But the issue here is that we are, um, that the directory bar lip account service icons. This one, it has the directory permissions as you can see here. It has the directory permissions 0 <coughs> 0755 and it should have uh, and it should have the permissions 0, uh, 0775. So we can fix that rather easily as follows. And now we can just, we could either reboot or we can just simply start the display manager. And we do that via systemctl restart display manager. And as you can see, the display manager is coming up as we already have a mouse now. Great, so now let's run the first boot setup. So I'm gonna keep this at English. I'm gonna also keep the German keyboard. I don't need location services, but you can keep them. Uh, for time zones, I'm just gonna pick something in Central Europe. I don't have any accounts to connect. And so I'm going to create an account for myself. But you pick yours. And then we set a password. Since this is just for playing around, I'm not going to bother with setting a very secure one. But if you plan on using this actually in production, then you should pick a good one. And we're done. And here we are. So unfortunately, you're going to see this error message if you're running this on a Pi. This is the micro OS desktop first boot. It's trying to install Firefox. And the unfortunate issue is that uh, it tries to install Firefox from a flat pack and there is no Firefox flat pack for ARM. And with that, so we can now fix the Firefox stuff. But with that, we're essentially done. And you can now play around with MicroOS Desktop.